This is a small video for Bernd, who has trouble with his clutch. Now we sent you a picture of the clutch in question. And um, that's better. He said that a bolt had come out of the bell housing and got trapped in the flywheel and whatever made a bit of a mess. But the picture he showed me was something very interesting because I don't think it was a bolt that's come out because A, how could a bell housing bolt get into the bell housing? It would be quite difficult. And I don't think one of the bolts had sheared off the um, clutch pressure plate. I'm thinking it's this. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's into place. Can you see this bar here? Well that strap holds the cover on. So what I'm going to do to explain how a clutch works and perhaps uh, a cause of the problem. I, I really don't know why it broke. There was no reason to because it was a, a Velio clutch. But what we're going to do, we're going to drill out these rivets here go through the plate and we're going to try and get this out I don't know if it's going to work or not but we'll see and then we can explain how a clutch works because that would be interesting so I've just drilled out the three rivets one, two, three and now we're going to separate the two parts we can see instantly on this piece what is actually wrong with Bert's clutch this strap here, well it's the, it's the plate here that's broken and this is still attached to this plate here but it's come out and caught inside the gearbox and the bell housing it's flayed around um, so it had to be replaced but why it broke I don't know I've never seen one break before so that's the reason for that so there isn't actually all that much to a clutch when you get inside it all it is is this cast iron plate which goes between so on this side would be your friction plate and then further on would be your flywheel all right so how it works is this this spring as if you can see here is is curved because there's no pressure on it but when when you've got everything all compressed so let's say for example you've got your flywheel you've got your friction plate and you've got this once you tighten all this lot against your flywheel you'll find that these fingers will go flat all right but there's an enormous amount of clamping pressure and the spring is here and it pivots on this fulcrum it's a big round fulcrum it's just think of it like a lever so when these thing when you put your clutch together these fingers will be all flat but when you put pressure on by pushing your clutch down, oh that looks a bit rude, but when you put pressure on with your, uh, with your clutch, these fingers will go inside and these will retreat, if you see what I mean. So you've got that type of, uh, and that type of an idea. So when they go in, that goes back and that releases your clutch and that is all there is to it. Very rarely do these bolts or these rivets break off you know and, it, and it's and it's such an easy job to to do a reconditioned clutch or bake, make a clutch because you see if there's the only damage really with the clutch like this this is off Charles's clutch and where the bearing had overheated the fingers wear out here and uh, so all you need to do really is drill out these rivets change the plate put the rivets back in put this on a machine and remachine this surface and then simply put it on put the rivets in job done that's a reconditioned clutch all you've got to do is make sure that this face is the right height and that's it there's nothing to it so oh another thing to notice as well something really interesting uh, balance points 
The clutch is balanced before leaving the factory and I can see no obvious balance points on the outside of the casing but I can see here if you can see that let's have a let's have a zoom in if you can see here this is where the clutch has been balanced see these little dimples they've got some primary dimples in like that one so they've put some more dimples in here but this one There, sorry about that. This one here has been drilled a little bit deeper, and the reason for that is they must have been heavier on this side, so they've taken some weight out. It's quite interesting. In the old days, what they used to do is clip a little piece or weld weld a piece on the outside of the clutch somewhere, but now they do it like that. So there you go. We're trying to make a Land Rover better. We're getting there.